greatest. Build a life that works for you. Regardless of what those outside of you may believe, what they may think. Construct your world in a desirable way for yourself. No matter what that looks like. If you have ideas, if you have goals, aspirations, embrace them, even if they're not common, even if they're not understood by others, that's fine because somewhere it's going to resonate. If not for somebody else, it's going to be for you. And that's what matters. Because as you live in the desired reality for yourself, you inspire and encourage others to do the same. I mean, it's, it's simple. Now, we can get caught up in the muck and the mire of the world. That's all right. At some point, at some point, we're going to look for different. We have no choice. It's, it's part of the human condition, if you will. Now, as we look around those in our life, or even strangers, we'll see how easy it is for others, even ourselves, to conform, to be in a state of monkey-see-monkey-do. But even for those who are in that state of awareness, they too desire something else. They just may not be ready to jump out and get it. Now, I'm not talking about worldly success as we're taught to believe it is. No. I'm talking about the simple things that make us grateful to wake up in the morning. I'm talking about the little things to make us smile when we're in our imagination or when we have pleasant thoughts coming across. The things that give us a renewed sense of self. It doesn't matter by what means. For some, it's meditation. For some, it's visualization. For some, it's walking nature. For some, it's doing arts, crafts, something creative. For some, it's writing. For some, it's singing. For some, it's composing music. It, it genuinely doesn't matter. For some, it's raising their kids. For some, it's being married. For some, it's helping society in whatever shape, form, or fashion. For others, it's sports. The list goes on. It's not about being the biggest and the best. It's about finding peace and gratitude and being able to share that desire. It's a beautiful thing. But find it for yourself. It's all I'm here to remind you to do. It's not about what I do to find my peace. No, because I search for different ways to find it each and every day. And my usual go-tos, those are my go-tos. And I wouldn't change them for the world. But I hope the others find that as well. And it's not about how others respond to it. It's about what it does for you. There are some that are able to learn from their own experiences and can communicate the things that they learned in such a way that it does help others. And they're grateful for what they've learned. They found the path to peace in understanding their experiences and being aware of what they needed to change. And they've taken it upon themselves to share. It's a beautiful thing. There are some who are lost along their journey and they're searching, simply searching for some kind of guidance or some way back to themselves. And they're open and honest about it. They're embracing their journey. It's a beautiful thing. 
There are also some people who just don't give a damn. That's all right, too. But if they're not bringing peace to you, maneuver on. Keep them at bay or keep them away. But I heard recently that when you speak to somebody, you're either, <laughs> you're either making them happy or you're driving them crazy. And that rang true for me and all my journey. Because I've, in the past, I've been the guy to drive people crazy. That's okay. And that was more often than not. And then I began to find a certain kind of peace in myself and realized that wasn't a way. It's just as I was driving other people crazy, they were driving me crazy. Hell, I was driving myself crazy. Then I learned to quiet my world. It started with quieting the outside world by removing myself from certain relationships and environments. Then I began to quiet, quiet my inner world more. And in doing that, that's where I began to see a lot more of my reality. I began to see more of my desires and what I truly want for myself. And I also became aware of things that I was searching for or pursuing that it wasn't about me. It was about impressing others. So I let it go. And in doing so, life got a whole lot simpler. I don't have it figured out. This whole life thing, nah, step-by-step -step process. But what I do know, and what I want to remind you of, is that you have more power than you believe. You understand a lot more than you believe. You are aware of something within you that helps you create this world that you live in. It's not about changing the ideas of others. It's about nourishing the ideas within yourself. And the more you do that, the more you will not only understand your choices, but you also may be guided to change some of those choices. It's simple but take it one step at a time. Give yourself grace along the way. And as you do so, you'll find that you will attract different things, different people, different environments, different outcomes, because you've changed something within you. For myself, the quieter I begin to make my inner world, I begin to understand different aspects of my outer world. I begin to, and I'm not saying this is for everybody, but I begin to understand what my dreams were telling me. Not my daydreams, but the dreams I have when I'm sleeping. And though it's not always cut and dry, it's abstract. But over time, I was able to understand what the theme was what it was pointing out. My dreams also showed me what I was holding on to that I no longer needed, that I must release. And over time, I began to see the nature of my dreams, waking and sleeping dreams, change. I'm not saying I live a life that everybody wants. I could care less. But I live a life that I desire. And more than anything, I hope you're doing the same. If not so, I hope you're searching for that. Because you can begin living that dream now. You could begin living in that reality right now, if you would choose to do so. Now, when you do make these changes in choice, the outside will change because your inside has changed. That's fine. Take a moment, some meditate, some visualize, and you can sit still and ignore everything just for a couple minutes at a time. Give yourself that break. 
And when you give yourself those kind of mental breaks, where you simply mentally check out from these five senses, you will be amazed at the peace that you found. And in finding that peace, you may even begin to hear the parts of you that you've been ignoring for a long time. Now, if that's not your thing, that's not your thing. You don't want to be quiet, cool. I'm not judging you. I'm only going to share what you will worse from me. If you want the music, find you some music that's pleasing to you. When I listened to music that was chaotic, my life was chaotic. When I chilled it out, my life became chill. My thoughts became more chill. Find myself in a different state. Whatever you do for you, I hope it enriches you. I hope it helps you find some kind of peace in this world that you've created for yourself. Because it's all, it's there for all of us. There's no change in that. It's there for all of us. If we would simply seek it. Take a walk. Chill with your pet. Hell, go shopping. <laughs> whatever, whatever works for you. But do something that's nourishing to the soul. And don't feel bad about it. And what you may find is when you make those choices that are ever so nourishing to yourself and they're from a good intention place, a well intentioned place, more often than not, it doesn't hurt anybody. That's one of the most interesting aspects that I found. And even for those who may not like the new changes that you make, you're not hurting them. You're just taking your power back. If you take an honest look at it, that's what's happening. It doesn't matter what aspect. If your friends say, hey, you don't come around too much no more. All right. But then when you find happiness within yourself, you begin to assess, well, why do they even want me around like that? It's simple. Not always easy. If your job says, hey, you've been coming back on hours and we don't understand why you want to leave. You know the reason that they want you there. Find the reason that you're there. And if it's not part of your desired reality, make a change. I ain't saying go out and quit it right now if you don't have a way of supporting yourself. But I'm saying, find a way to nourish your desired reality. You don't have to be the biggest and the best. You just want, if anything, to be the most blessed, be at peace with self. That's a good place to leave it for now. Till next time, be blessed.